I think they will probably never have heard of my hero ingredient, the tiger nut. Uh, it's not a nut, it's a tuber. 67 years old, Peter believes he's more than ready for scrutiny. I know my business inside and out, and I know this is the perfect time to come to Dragon's Den. But will the dragons agree? Hello, dragons. My name is Peter Smith. My company is called Bezos Food and Drinks. Today, I'm looking for an investment of £100,000 for a 15% share in my company. All my products, which you see here, contain one special ingredient, the tiger nut. The tiger nut is not a nut, it's a tuber full of nourishing goodness that helps lower your cholesterol. And more importantly for us, vegan. It is now estimated that there are three and a half million vegans in the United Kingdom, a 700% increase in the last two years. We launched our first product, Bezos de Oro Liqueur. I sold 1,800 bottles the first year. I sold 14,500 bottles in the second year. My first year's turnover was 20,100 pounds. My second year, I turned 203,000 pounds, mostly on the liqueur. To complement my liqueurs, we have developed Tiger Nut Milk, a nutritious drink. We have its little brother, chocolate sticky bun flavor, and it tastes as good as it sounds. And finally, Tiger Nut Milk Chocolate. And I'd like to invite you to try some of my products and pose any questions that you may have. Tiger Nut based, vegan friendly drinks and chocolate. Start with the ladies, if I may. Is the offering from former expat entrepreneur, Peter Smith. Which are the alcoholic ones? He's asking for £100,000 for a 15% share of his company. And Peter's pitch has given Jenny Campbell the perfect opportunity to show off her Spanish skills. Hola. <laughs> why, um, hola. why hola? I lived for 20-something years in Spain. OK. Most of this has Spanish origins. And what about the brand name, Besos? What does that mean? Besos means kisses. Bezos de Oro are golden kisses. Bezos de Chocolate, chocolate kisses. OK. So what's the story behind it? My wife had a heart attack and the doctor told my wife that from that moment on she could only have one glass of red wine a day. It didn't last very long. She asked for a brandy. To make the brandy go a little bit further, I put some Tiger Nut milk concentrate I had in the kitchen. I put it in the brandy, whizzed it, and it looked for all the world like Bailey's liqueur. Mm. And she said, you bought me a Bailey's? I said, no, I've just invented it. It started from there. Right. And believe me, it went very, very quickly. We took it to one of the largest bodegas. I said, what do you think? They made it, and now we sell it. Peter has turned adversity to advantage, as his serendipitous invention of a liqueur seems to have created a money-making opportunity. Now, Deborah Meaden wants to know why he's chosen to diversify. Peter, hi. Hello, um, Deborah. I don't really understand why, if the hero product is the liqueur, yes. what made you think I'm going to be an alternative milk business or chocolate business? Uh, quite simply, I thought, if we're going to trade all the year round, I'm going to have to lift something up here. I'm going to have to get more business out of season. So you're trying to flatten out the seasonality? Yes. It doesn't feel like you started with a market and an opportunity. It feels like it was completely the other back way around, back, back to, front. to front. And then you've carried on engineering things because you've, you've gone to the vegan mm. and lactose intolerance milk line now. Talk to me about the competitors yeah. there and how you would compete with them. Sure. It's a multi, multi, multi million pound market, mm. mostly attended by one large company. Yeah. Each one of these alternative milks has its own plus and its own minus. Mm. The Tiger Nut milk 
There's a lovely nutty back taste and it has got some texture. Well, look, I, I'm not used to drinking these drinks, um, but I don't like that. I really it's, don't. Uh, I, I feel I, like I'm having to take some medicine. Another thing you've got does have an almighty amount of monounsaturate that helps to lower cholesterol. And it has the same amount of fat level as semi-skin milk. Is that so, why I would buy that one over the yes, other brand that you were yes, just referring to? Yes. OK. Peter, can you talk me through the ingredients, the wholesome milk? Yes. A lot of E numbers there. Tricalcium phosphate. Yes. That doesn't sound very wholesome to me. The reason I find that mildly disappointing is that you say wholesome and then I turn straight back to the ingredients and actually your market does do that. Vegan people, they sp I've watched, they spend hours reading the labels. They do. When I made the drink, I had a choice. Should I take this drink and not have the reason why people drink milk to get their calcium, to get all the other things? And I wanted to be able to give them those benefits as well. The only way that we could do it was to add tricalcium phosphate. So the product does give some of the benefits to my vegan and lactose customers. Are you vegan? No, I'm vegetarian, mostly. I'm vegan sometimes, and I do have... Can you be vegan sometimes? <laughs> uh, well, actually, there are no vegan policemen, no vegan courts, thank God. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a matter of... Yeah, I'm vegan sometimes. I eat absolutely nothing animal-based for an hour or two. <laughs> I'm completely vegan. <laughs> it seems Deborah Meaden isn't buying into the entrepreneur's confession he's moonlighting as a vegan. Will Peter Jones find he has anything in common with his namesake? Peter. Sir. Great name. I think so. How old are you? I'm 67. Wow. And when are you going to retire? When I die. <laughs> I don't have any plans and I, I feel very, very young. I do 14 hours a day and I do genuinely do seven days a week. OK. Whilst I think you should be congratulated on your hard work and dedication in getting a product and bringing it to market, you're one of many, many thousands of people that do exactly this and find a little niche and they become, in inverted commas, this sort of... they're importers. Peter, just to defend Peter, I, I don't think he's just an importer because he's created his own formulations uh, and that takes uh, testing, time, innovation, there's a gap that he's created. Yeah, and I think that's very good. Peter, I'm here on business and I've come to do business with yourself, so I'm rather disappointed because I actually feel that whatever I've okay. done... I'm not going out yet. ..that you could make a massive difference to my business. I live and breathe my business, and I know why I'm here. I have come to do business with Peter Jones. Oh, well, that's oh. all right then. OK, well, that's easy. Makes it really easy. That's really easy. <laughs> I'm just going to hold back right now, because that makes me... That makes my, my heart smile. But, to be honest, it is a little bit of a fatal flaw because the one thing I always look for with an investment is we're in this together, we've both got the shared passion. And clearly, I'm not your preferred dragon, so there isn't quite that relationship. I have to say that I was looking for a variety because the dragons can offer a variety of things. It's a shame that you would not like to consider investing in my company because I think, quite frankly, it would be a great opportunity. I'd love some of your knowledge. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, backpedaling. Yeah, yeah. It looks like Peter's smooth talking may have done enough to stave off an exit from Deborah Meaden, for now at least. Will Tej Lalvani overlook the entrepreneur's faux pas and spot an opportunity to invest? Peter, I like the way you've developed these products. Um, got it to the market and been able to create sales. What I don't like is your branding. The bottle's good, but there's no consistency anywhere. If you look at your Bezos logo on the milk carton, on the chocolates, it's different all over the place. You're absolutely right. It's a comment that's been levelled at my product. 
In the vegan world, it's a rustic artisan world. We didn't want the slick UD formula. But as we move up now, perhaps it's time to look again at a connected look for our brands. Well, look, it's an interesting business. It's the result, quite frankly, of nothing short of a lot of hard work. Um, that's very impressive. But on what you've said, to call out who your preferred person, who you've come here to do business with, is a very dangerous thing to do in the den. For that reason alone, I'm out. A sobering moment for Peter as Tej Lalvani takes exception to his earlier revelation that he has a different business partner in his sights. With one dragon down, will Jenny Campbell be more understanding? Peter, this is gorgeous, the liqueur. Might have to go online and find some later. <laughs> All credit to you, you've brought this to market, but I think you should just stop and just say, here's my hero product. How do I get that across the world online? You need five years of going for global to sell that product and forget everything else. Peter, all the best, I'm out. It's very obvious that you've got something. You're actually a very astute man. What you need is focus. If you can focus on your alcohol, then I think you'll retire very young and you'll retire rich. However, I'm not going to be on that journey because I believe that you can do it on your own. And for that reason, I'm not going to invest today and I'm out. Thank you. I am worried for you. I am worried that you are moving away from the thing that I think you should be focusing on. Absolutely, is that the cure? There are so many alternative milks out there, you know, and all of them are going to tell me the same thing. It's just going to be down to, do I like the taste or don't I like the taste? Yes. The chocolate is really competitive market, you know that. So I think it's absolutely down to your liqueur range. But I don't really want to invest in liqueur range. I don't, just don't want to, it just doesn't really interest me. So I'm sorry I'm out. Thank you very much for considering me. A significant blow for Peter as three more business giants say adios to investment. Has the tiger nut enthusiast done enough to win over his prize dragon of choice, Peter Jones? Peter, I'm sitting here thinking, do I be really candid and honest? And I feel that I have to. I'm not the sensitive type, Peter, for a start. It's been too long and too hard. I'm not taking anything away from you, but I'm not excited about investing in this. It just doesn't excite me, the import side of the business, and it's quite small. It's not something that I'm going to be able to help you with. So I'm going to say that I'm out. But I wish you and your wife every health, wealth and happiness. That's very kind of you, sir. Thank you very much. I haven't lost. It's a great experience, and I'm not offended or upset. Good. I go back out of that door a much cleverer man than I came in. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So it's all over for Peter, who may not be leaving the den with any cash, but walks away with a newfound vision. My business is going to change tomorrow morning because of what's just happened. I'm going to scrap all of the chocolate and the milk, and I'm going to concentrate on the liqueur. Anybody want a pesos? What is that? It's a kiss. It's a, kiss. <laughs> it's a Spanish kiss, in fact. <laughs> Hola.